y'all welcome back this has been a highly requested video oh look you can see my backdrop edges ah <laughs> but this has been a highly highly requested video this is how to use the dollar tree wreath boards i used one and made this beautiful poinsettia using 10 inch mesh from the wreath shop Stay tuned and I will show you how to make it. Hey y'all, welcome back. Now, so many of you, so, so many of you have been sending me messages saying, please do a video on the Dollar Tree plastic wreath board. And you know, they don't have them in my stores just yet. You know, my area is a little bit slow to get new things, it seems. So a whole ton of you have been wanting to send me some and I really do appreciate it. These particular boards came from my friend Judy Burton from Judy's Wreath and Things. I will put a link in the description box and I'll also pin a comment where you can find Judy on Facebook. So go check her out. Leave her a nice comment, you know, like her page and show her some love for sending me these. Now, there are two different sizes. There's a larger size and you, you can pretty much see how big this is. And then here is the smaller one. So what I'm going to be using today is the larger one. So let's get this out of the way. I just throw them in the floor. <laughs> And we're going to be using 10 inch mesh. Now this 10 inch mesh came from the wreath shop. Lots of beautiful colors of mesh and all different sorts of wreathing supplies for decent prices. Again, description box, pinned comment, and affiliate link where you can go purchase this stuff. So I have green and then I have red. This is 10 inch. So for the green, you're going to need one roll of the 10 inch mesh. And I have the label right here so that you can see 10 inch mesh and there's 10 yards on this. Okay, so you're only gonna need one of these in the green. And as far as the red goes, I'm not 100% certain at this exact moment how many you're gonna need of the red. But of course, once I get it all put together, I'll come back and I'll tell you. You're also gonna need some pipe cleaners. And the way I cut my mesh is I used a rotary cutter and a cutting mat, okay? That's how I cut my mesh. So first off, you want to cut your mesh into squares. And because this is 10 inches wide, of course, you're going to want to cut it to 10 inches. And the secret to cutting mesh so that it doesn't really fray very much is you need to keep it as straight as possible. You see how this is kind of angled? Don't cut it like that. Keep everything as straight as possible and then just cut straight across like that. Of course, you can use scissors. You can use a rotary cutter. You can use a wood burner. Whatever you have on hand, that's what you can use. But anyway, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be making petals that look like this. Now, this is the Dean Michael Daisy petal. My wonderful friend Trish invented this petal quite a while back. So if you want to see the video or support the channel of the person who created this petal, look below and I'll leave links to her channel. But as you can see, what we're doing here is we're taking our petals and we're going to be working on this outer row right here of holes. Now, you don't have to work on the outer row like I'm doing. You can bring it down, bring it down, you know, however big you want the, um, the petals to stick out. I was looking for something large to hang on my wall, which is why I'm going to be working first off in the outer row right here. So to make the <clears throat> Dean Michael Daisy Petal, you're going to want to take your 10 by 10 square of mesh and a pipe cleaner. Look at all these little pieces trying to come over here. <laughs> I got solid colors. Um, I ran out of my multicolored ones. So I went and got these and now all the little particles are wanting to jump into frame. Take your pipe cleaner, bend it into a V. And now you're going to take your square of mesh and you're just going to fold it like so into a triangle. See how I did that? One corner to one corner and I made a triangle. And now you're going to take this corner here, go up and make an imaginary line up to the center of the folded part and you're just gonna squish it together. That's all you're doing. See, I'm just gathering it in the very, very center down to the point. It looks like butterfly wings, doesn't it? And just hold it like that. And now, whoop, fold it up. And that's your daisy petal. So I'm going to gather it down here at the bottom. And would you look at what he's doing? <laughs> Wrap the pipe cleaner around it. Just holding it tight, holding it tight. I'm going to twist it around a couple times. And now we're going to attach it to our frame. This is one way that you can do it. I'm going to show you another way you can do it here in a second. Now, like I said, I'm working on the 
outer ring here. So I'm just going to take this and stick it through that hole right there and through that hole right there. Okay, pull those through and whoop, your petal is stuck. And now we're just going to give this baby a good twist in the back a few times just to hold it in place. And then you can go back and trim off the back of your pipe cleaners and then just, you know, fold it over to make it flush on the back. And I know that with this design, if you want to cover the back, you know, glue on a big circle of felt, that's fine. Cover it on the back. Now, I'm going to show you another way. Like I said, it's fairly large. I'm running out of space. <laughs> Let's get us another pipe cleaner. And we're going to fold it like that. Okay, so we got another piece of mesh. So let's take that and we're going to fold it. Stop it! Fold it the same way into a triangle like this. Once again, just gather it in the center, in the center, all the way down, like so. And then fold that in half and there is your petal. So now what I'm going to do is instead of wrapping the pipe cleaner around it right now, and I guess I should have put the pipe cleaner through here before I have the pedal in my hand. Is I'm going to take it. Where did it go? And I'm going to feed it up through the back like that. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other end. Like this. And then just pull that up. Now I have my pedal. I'm going to give this a good twist. Twist, twist. And then I'm going to lay the pedal down on top of it and just twist it again. See, there's two different ways. And don't worry about the pipe cleaner showing through the front because once you get all of the other colors on, whatever colors you're going to be using, don't worry about that. You're not going to see it because they're going to be layered. And then you just trim off your pipe cleaner that way. So two different ways that you can do it, whichever way is comfortable for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue making those petals. I know I'm cutting pipe cleaners with these scissors. I know I'm going to continue making these petals and filling up this outside ring here. So let's see. See, I put that one there and I skipped this space and then the very next one, put it right there. Okay. So I'm going to do that all the way around and then I'll tell you how many bundles I used and then we're going to move on to the red. All right, my friends. So I have used 18 of the daisy petals. You can see, just put one there and then leave this little area and then put another one, 18 all the way around. So now I have made some more petals in exactly the same manner, but in red. And once again, like I said, check out the reshop. They have beautiful mesh. So now what we have to do is decide where exactly I want this red to start. And I'm thinking, you know, do I want to put it here or do I want to drop down to this row here? And we're going to try it here. We're going to try it here and we can see how it looks. I think that'll be just fine. Yeah. Okay. So you see this, this row of holes here. We're not going to go into the next one. We're going to go into this one. So skip that and then go into the next one. And then I'm just going to tighten this down and start putting on more. But anyway, while I'm doing that, let's talk for a second. I do have moderators on this channel, okay? Comment moderators. And some people want to come on and be little, little negative Nellies and, you know, just spread their filth everywhere. And the moderators pretty much have full reign to delete those comments. I mean, you know, people just have to be so negative and they think that they're so unique in doing it and they're not well, some of them are but they think that they're so unique in their nastiness and you know what <laughs> go get a hobby <laughs> oh gosh people people kill me all right so i'm just putting this one on here and now let's get this next red one and i'm going to move this into frame so that you can see a little bit better like i said this one is fairly large but I just put these red ones on in the same manner that I did the previous green ones, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to continue putting these on, on this row here, leaving that space, and then we'll come back and we will work on another row. All right, my friends, so the row of red is on, and as you can see, you can see the, um, the green sticking out from behind it just fine. So let's move it over a little bit so that you can see the edge here. See, you can see the green sticking out. 
So what I want to do from here on out is I'm going to be adding on more red, but as you can see, I'm going to put it, let's see, do I want to skip another row? I'm not going to skip any more rows. I don't think I am. I think from here on out, I'm going to put it in every single row. There's not that many rows left, okay? And I want it to start looking full. So let's drop down to the next row. And you want to try to angle your petals or put your petals so that they are kind of in between the other ones to kind of fill in any spaces that need to be filled in. But once you get this in your hands, you know, in your own home, it's going to make a lot more sense and you can put your petals wherever you want to put them. Put them, put them. English, what is it? Um, wherever you want to put them. Okay, so we have the outer row. We skipped a row. And then we're just going to put them on every single row after that. So let's get a next one. And I'm going to also put them in every single little hole. So you see where this one is right here? Pipe cleaner there, pipe cleaner there. I am going to feed it into that exact same hole right there. And then the next hole. Okay. Oopsie. So I'm not skipping any spaces here. See? Right there beside of it. Right beside of it. I'm trying to get this twisted in the back. It's like, why are you not working with me? Seriously? All right. There we go. See how those are going to be like side by side now. <laughs> they are friends. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another one here and then here and then here just all the way around. And I'm going to do that for every row of holes left until I get it all filled in. Okay. Every hole, every row to fill it in. I want to work on that and I'll be back. So I am done with this and whoops, I need to trim off a few of the little frayed parts of this mesh right here. And like I said, I know that this is such a bad angle for you to try to see, but if you bear with me at the end of the video, of course, I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to get this hung up. I will zoom out so that you can see it in its entirety and that we can talk about a little bit more. But see, this is the green part and I have all of my layers of red placed on there. So now what we have here is we need to deal with the center part. And for the center part, I'm going to be using some of these gold Christmas ornaments from Dollar Tree. Now, I have my low temp glue gun over here heating up. Now, why am I using low temp? Because these ornaments from Dollar Tree, you know, they're plastic and they're, they're a little thin sometimes. And I didn't want to risk melting it, okay? So, I just popped the bottom off of it. And you see some of the gold has come off of this one. Um... Well, that ain't good, but it's okay because we're not going to see it. So I'm just putting this here and I think I'm just going to glue it down right there. I have three and I think three is going to work out just fine. Yeah, my glue gun is not completely heated up. <laughs> it's struggling. I'm going to put that one there. There we go. And I wanted to take this other one. I think I'm out of glue. Okay, I got in a new glue stick <laughs> and I just glued the third one down. So now we're just gonna leave it like that. Um, I'm gonna hang it up. I'm just going to take a pipe cleaner and I'm gonna run it through two of the loops on the back and I'm gonna get it hung up and then I can zoom out and then really, really let y'all see the thing in its entirety. And there it is. It is done. Yeah, you can see the edge of my backdrop on my board over there. <laughs> um, I'm used to making much smaller wreaths. Um, and this is actually the largest wreath I think I've ever made. It is a good size and I absolutely adore it. I wanted something large to hang on a wall and that is exactly what I got. Something large to hang on a wall. But anyway, I hope that y'all enjoyed this. If you would, please give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe, check me out on other forms of social media, the links to all of which will be in the description box down below, and I hope to see y'all next time. Bye!